Hello, hello. Well, I actually probably should have paid attention to see if the mic was actually running good or not, because if it isn't, then that means we're probably going to have a hard time with tonight's stream. But if everything is indeed running perfectly fine, ladies and gents, let me know in the chat so I can make sure we are good, we are set, and ready to begin tonight's is special, we shall call it, ladies and gents, uh, for the Pokepod World Podcast New Year's special event. Well, it's not really a special event per se, but it is a nice little way for us to go and take this opportunity to discuss things that are going to be going down within the year of 2022. Looking back into the events that we've gone through within uh, 2021 and, of course, seeing where we're going to lie ourselves in the present timeline. So, uh, first of all, this is going to be the first stream of 2022. And I want to thank everybody so much from the bottom of my heart for allowing me to continue on into the new year and allowing me to continue being uh the man i am i guess in a way uh for you know doing all the shenanigans that you see here tonight so thank you all once again it's an incredible honor to be again here for another year doing the things i love to do with the people i love to be with and uh as you know already everybody's taking a break for today because we're going to be mainly focusing on celebrating uh our history's past and then of course maybe having like some kind of post discussion soon after but for now at this current moment though uh we are just going to be talking about a couple of things that i have in store for all of us and i'm very much excited to talk about it with every single one of you folks out there so once again allow me to introduce myself my name is KG prestige and i welcome you all to another session here on the Pokepod World Podcast. First of all, uh, thank you guys so much for noticing the new layout. This is going to be the official layout now, design-wise, for the Pokepod session. So I hope you guys are looking forward to more of it in the distant future. I think it looks kind of snazzy, at least for when we're talking in moments like this. Uh, I think it genuinely looks pretty nice. So I managed to tweak it up a little bit. It looks a little bit more, uh, I guess, organized in a way. Or it just fits the world theme in the background. I mean, if you take a look at the back over here, I can literally just, like, move Ruby over here for, like, a second. You'll see the Pokeball <laughs> logo right there just chilling. So it's it's stuff like this, you know. And, uh, yeah, I, I'm happy that it looks and came out super nice, man. Uh, let me just move myself back over here. <laughs> so what do you plan to do when Tyrone and TSS show up next session? Uh, obviously, man, every single year uh, will always be uh going at it together as always man it's been the three of us the three uh the trio anyway all the way through wait are we not going in a call uh polly i'll talk with you about that in a minute and i'll explain in more detail about what's happening uh but nope <laughs> uh tonight like i stated it was just simply gonna be a nice small special stream uh to dedicate in our past events and just look back and reflect on a lot of the things we've done throughout the past year and of course discuss more in details for what I have intended to do uh, for the next distant year so uh, yeah uh, so I hope you guys just sit back and relax like really this is mainly just a nice day off for all of you peeps for Tyron and TSS as well uh, I want to first of all before we go any further I mean it those two have been my bros for years now and they have been without a doubt my co-hosts throughout every single Pokepod stream uh, and it is something that I honestly could say I could not have done without uh it, you know with their support man they I, their support has been absolutely incredible through the whole way through and it's thanks to them that we got to see ourselves here in the now going into year three of the pokepod and of course year seven or eight or whatever it is that we are in the current pokepod title series so yeah it's uh thanks to those two of course you know uh but we also have a huge cast of characters as well who's been with us throughout the many years. Dane, oh my god, Dane, we go way back. And I have something to discuss about that for later. Also, thank you so much, Omar, for the donation. Really, really appreciate it, buddy. Although, for some reason, it didn't pop up in my screen. Let me try to fix that real quick. Uh, I'm not sure why it didn't show up on stream. Huh, kind of weird. Okay, but I hope uh, I'll fix that in a minute. Uh, but thank you once again so much, buddy. So yeah, of course, like I stated before, with my buddy Dean, uh, my buddy Polly, as you see in the chat there, Nessa, uh, Terrell, Richie, 
you know, to name a few, JPR, and some of our other homies that we've had uh, throughout the year as well. You know, some of the some of the guest friends that we've also had too. Uh, you know, such as our buddy Kuro, our buddy Evie, uh, K, uh, who's obviously streaming currently right now as well. They have also been incredible and super, super generous to take their time and opportunity to sit down with me and my buddies as we just talk about random shenanigans throughout the week. So really, without them, like I stated before, without Tyrone, without TSS, without any of my other pals, we would not have gone this far uh, to where we currently stand today. So uh, much love to every single one of those homies. You guys are, without a doubt... The best homies I could ever have. And I'm so glad that we can do this again for another year. So uh, cheers on that part right there. Uh, but hold on. Let me go and update this real quick because I noticed that the uh, stream labels was accidentally closed. So I will see that opened and fixed right now. There we go. Perfect. Beautiful. That's perfect. Okay. Uh, that's what I want to fix. Now, let's get into some shenanigans. Why don't we for tonight, ladies and gents? Obviously, as you guys already know, I've already introduced a bunch of other people that I've been with throughout the year, and uh, it's been an honor to not only be doing this for like seven years with the Pokepot series, uh, but it's also the year that I'm celebrating 10 years, a, a decade of KG, you could say, because while the Pokemon X and Y series has sort of started back in like 2013 or yeah, I think it was 2013, my channel was created back in 2011. However, it wasn't until I began creating content in 2012 uh, throughout my channel in that year when I was trying to figure out what I wanted to do. So I've actually been really making content uh, a year before of x and y first you know coming to be so it's really been something that i never thought i'd get to say uh but yeah it's 10 years 10 years i have been here creating content maybe not in this particular format like you're seeing right now currently but like i've been creating content since uh since the beginnings or, or the finale of the Best Wishes series to the beginning of this series, man, it, it's absolutely incredible. I, I'm I'm flabbergasted that we've we've managed to go this far, bro. It's it's really incredible. So, uh, yeah, I think to think that ten years later I'd still be doing something like this, uh, is just a blessing. So yeah, thank you guys for. For sticking around with me for roughly 10 years, or maybe you might be newer to the scene and might not know that I've been in the scene for like 10 years. But yeah, it's been 10 years, celebrating 10 years of me and the Pokepod uh, crew right there. It'll also probably be 10 years for Tyrone too as well, thinking about it, because Tyrone also had created content before uh, the X and Y series too. So for a lot of us, you know, for me, for Tyrone, or maybe even Dean as well, uh, we've been doing things for this long and time just really flies by, man. It, it's absolutely insane <laughs> to think about that. And therefore, you know, once again, I, I always have to just remind people and just, just tell y'all just how grateful I am to know that I can continue to do these kind of things on a week by week basis here on this channel. And, uh, yeah, there, there's not much more to say other than thank you guys so much. But obviously, aside from just always just focusing on the past and all that, we always have to also make sure to take our opportunity to talk about some of the things that are happening in the present timeline too. There is a lot of changes that is going to be happening during this year for the Pokepod series. Things that uh, are, are very wonderful and wholesome things. And of course opportunities to kind of do more collaborations in the distant future uh, with more friends and allies as well. So we will also be taking that opportunity for today to go and talk about this uh, in greater detail. Uh, but before we get into it and, uh, a little further with regards to collabs and whatnot, uh, let me take an opportunity to also introduce our newest ally who is in the chat as well, as you could see, uh, who was just recently now, you could say, promoted uh, to member from <laughs> from that. Uh, Emmy, a.k.a. Pika with a bow, who has been with us throughout many sessions. You might have seen her make many appearances throughout uh, the Pokemon Diamond and Pearl series or even in that like one to two sessions that she's had in the Pokemon uh, Pokepod World podcast. Uh, she is now 
certified as a Pokepod member and now will be joining us in the distant future. So there is that to look forward to as well as something else to go alongside with that, which I did talk about this with our artist who is the creator of uh, the art designs that you might have seen for Tyrone, for me, for uh, Terrell, TSS and all. Our buddy Sergi, uh, aka Sergi Romero, he is with working with me currently and we've been discussing about this so I'll get into more details about that but yes uh, in the distant future we're going to be seeing Emmy get herself her own uh, art character and partner Pokemon as well to coincide with the rest of the gang uh, so that way she will not feel left out in regards to that bit there so I uh, hope you look forward to that Emmy I'll talk with you more in regards to that in the distant future once I get uh, finalized with certain things with Sergi. Uh, so I hope you look forward to that and I hope everybody else also looks forward to the new art design as well. So once again, if everybody in the chat could say congratulations to Emmy for making it to now a Pokepod member, you have uh, officially done it, buddy. So thank you for even being with us and also uh, congratulations and I can't wait to work with you more in the year of 2022. There is a lot to look forward to with that part. Uh, we've been already doing things before in the past, but now it's great to finally have uh, another member. Oh, wow. Abel's right. Yeah, we finally got all the Pikachu mascots. Now we just need Pichu. You're right. Uh, but I don't know who going to be the Pichu fan in the group, if that's the case. If anything, I thought that would have been Tyrone, but he got the Denny already. So I guess you could go with Tyrone if you want to. Just just replace the Pichu with the, the Denny and you're good to go on that part. <laughs> so there you go. Yeah, you bring up a very solid point, Nessa. You know, Emmy has had a lot of help. Uh, has done a lot of help during Friday's reaction nights whenever we would take the opportunity to go and review each of us within the community here to do the review of the episode of the week. Uh, it would be Emmy who would be hosting that second half and keeping things in check and in charge. So uh, Emmy has already been doing this for a couple of months now and uh, makes me glad to see that now she gets to help out and also partake in more silly shenanigans for the future too. Uh, so, once again, Emmy, congratulations on that part. Looking forward to it and uh, looking forward to seeing what kind of insanity will ensue in 2022. Uh, so, now, I haven't had the opportunity to really pay close attention to, like, how this is going to work uh, because I've never really done this, but I thought it'd be kind of fun to, to see where things will go. So, uh, before we go any further, before I start getting into more discussions about what we're going to be uh, looking at in 2022 and beyond, uh, I do want to take this opportunity to reflect on a lot of the stuff that we've done in the past. So I hope you guys are looking forward to that. Uh, so what I did is I actually, and this is all thanks to you guys. Once again, uh, every single one of you, this is all thanks to you guys and you creating clips on this channel. It had it not been for you creating clips, I would never have done what I just did right now. And that was just simply make a short compilation of just some of the things that we did in 2021. It's, it's a little small one. It's not that many, but I thought it'd still be something fun to go and reflect upon and just see some of the shenanigans that we did uh, during 2021. Uh, I was about to say 2022, but we did nothing yet. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, if you guys don't mind, would you guys be willing to join me a little bit in uh, a nice... Travel back to 2021, early 2021 to late 2021 and just see uh, what you guys in the chat thought was considered highlight wordy. So once again, before I go any further, I just want to mention y'all were the ones that created these clips. I have little to no context to certain clips. I watch those clips and some of them I am still confused by how you guys worded them. But you know what? I'll let the I'll let the VOD play for itself. You know what? That'll probably be the better choice. I, I'll probably just do that and allow it to uh, to to just take care of itself. <laughs> so let's go and uh, let's go and have some fun chat. So join with me for just a little bit as we uh, as we take this opportunity to go and reflect on our journey within the world of 2021. I'm going to double check as well on my stream here on my phone to see if it works. And if it does work, then that's great. If it doesn't, then uh, I have an alternative. I always have alternatives for this sort of thing. So uh, bear with me, chat, and uh, let's see how this turns out. So enjoy, everybody. You would actually
actually literally just have to be a weave to know what the fuck a kappa is. Like, <laughs> no one knows what the fuck a kappa. If you came up to somebody, it was like, that's a kappa. They'd be like, that's a what? But if you point at like, bitch, what you call me? <laughs> shit out of you. Right. But with, with a duck, when you look at Psyduck, you put, that's a duck. People are like, yeah, that is a duck. A weird looking duck, but a duck. You know Damn. what? I like you, so I'll get you off with a warning. Fucking kill him. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, you just hear like a silencer in the bed. <laughs> Tyrone be like, man, we only lost by triple digits. <laughs> I mean, listen, you're not wrong. Listen, it didn't say a thousand or some shit. <laughs> you know that one scene where they have like the entire character going so fast? Yes. I just literally just wrote down most of like what I saw on just now. Did it's... you just fucking censor Grookey KG? What the yeah, fuck? Yeah, that bitch ass <laughs> monkey don't deserve to be on this pod. Wow, so. <laughs> the hate is real. What did <laughs> the monkey <laughs> do to you? <laughs> what didn't the monkey do? So yeah, so if you guys love your boobies, well, celebrate it, because that's the national day today. I taught my Cyndaquil flamethrower five times. <laughs> 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 I'm not even going to imagine how wrong that sentence is. <laughs> There's only 20 human beings on the planet that have the PS fucking five. Yeah, and one's mine here in the background as a goddamn decor, because I ain't never going to use that shit. You're a piece of shit, and I hate you. <laughs> <laughs> hey, 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 KG, leave it on low firmware. Like, yeah, don't worry, that shit ain't plugged in, boy. <laughs> that shit's staying unplugged for the rest of its life. I just bought it just to spite people. So, the power of money, asshole. ladies and gentlemen. Hey, hey, can we get platinum? No. But wear this jacket, stupid. <laughs> I mean, I'm not surprised because, like, Oras did the same thing and they neglected all the good I was about to say, they're going to give us a signpost where the post game land is and say, coming soon. And I like the KG. <laughs> the distortion <laughs> world is under construction. <laughs> I like. <laughs> I want to check on that too because if it's just been a consistency with crashing on everything, I hope the switch is fine as well. Oh, my is fine. Yeah. yeah he's, he's okay. Okay. Ah oh, man, sorry to hear about the capture card though. What it's capture right. card were you using? What? What? Though? Yeah. Yeah. What cap card? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't fucking know. I think it's not her leaving, so her voice is fading. <laughs> yeah, she just walks off into the unknown. <laughs> the power of us, they experiment with that 100%, and I think it came out better for it in the long run. In fact, it became the best film in my eyes. Yeah, uh, that's my second favorite Pokemon movie, only being topped by movie three. Yeah, and same for me, except not by movie three, it was by uh, the Hoopa film. Shut uh, the fuck up, KG. <laughs> Come on, man. I uh, really made a sequel to Bread. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> I didn't expect that. I didn't expect that to be just like a reaction. I'm glad she's in an anime that I, I, I watched. Well, what's the problem? She's a bad fucking character and it bones me the fuck out. <laughs> Jesus Christ. So 3 out of 10, eat a dick, reference or no reference. <laughs> 3 out of 10, eat a dick. <laughs> <laughs> it's a frozen treat, like a frozen freezy pop uh, type of deal. And it's called Boosie. <laughs> And at that point, I lost my you're dead. mind. You're dead. You're completely fucking dead. <laughs> at that point, I lost my mind, so I shared it to the chat, and it just became a big thing where everybody's like, what's up with you and the bussy? Like, <laughs> yeah, even Nessa was so large. He was like, the <laughs> fuck is this? <laughs> so <laughs> Andrew, the laundry room doing this shit? Like, yeah, that's what I thought. I thought she was, like, washing clothes and shit. I was like, what the fuck is that? <laughs> Wow, what the fuck is that? What is with this Discord shit, man? What is going on now? <laughs> what? 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 <laughs> no! <laughs> you gotta stop! <laughs> it's time to stop! Alright, so McDonald's, guys. Burger. McDonald's, <laughs> yeah. I don't know. That 10 inches was a lot. <laughs> yeah. KG, don't ever say that again. Alright, so KG, I decided to entertain this and I typed in, uh... 
the name of the show you were mentioning before mm-hmm. on Google and uh. I don't. I don't want no fucking. First of all, chat. I don't want no fucking. Tyrone loves to fuck horse bitches or whatever. On the That's hot, okay. I don't care. That's hot. No, I'm telling you, man. Get it can't. Way. It has limber ability. It can't. Oh fuck me! I don't know what Pikachu's doing today. Then. I'll loot your probably. <laughs> when did you buy it? That was last month, wasn't it? Didn't you make a dent on it or something? That's right. Shh, listen. Oh, that's hard. <laughs> listen, listen. <laughs> no. yes, yes, yes. Wow. You know, you know what you could have not brought up on stream? What? <laughs> that I dented it on the side. Wait a minute. So you think like no, when you go when you go to the store to buy it, they're gonna be like, oh, I watched the Pokemon. I saw it the fucking dick. If you wanna be in Pokemon Unite, uh say something. Okay. Okay, we so got the, time. Tani says Lol, hell no. Ty says, kill me. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I, I says, I, I bail. <laughs> yeah, so, so far, so good. Depression says, yeah, oof. Yeah, all right. All right, so great. That minute passed by. It's 12 o'clock, boys. Right, What's we're, your we're, night? We're, <laughs> <laughs> we're drafting for Unite members right now. Uh -oh. Did you guys know that Vaporeon yes. is a species? That, oh, okay, I'll stop there. Yes. <laughs> no, no, please don't. Oh man, but I love that joke. It's so stupid. I don't want to. I don't want to fuck Vaporeon. Moving on. I know you want to do the horses instead, buddy. Just... <laughs> <laughs> you kind of jumped into that one, buddy. Yeah, yeah. You kind of left yourself open for that one. We could have yeah. seen Surfetched with this pose. That would have instantly yeah. negated every single criticism everybody had with this episode. Had this Not scene I. been there. Shut up. This would have no, been completely agree, negated agree, with agree. this right here. With this pose, man. We were so, so robbed in this episode. You know what? You got a 5 out of 10. Rice Aqua was in Hunger Force right gonna, now, streaming wise. I'm going to build the shut up. Adult Swim, probably. I, I think. Cut to that work, huh? Oh, well, the pizza's here. Pizza time, pizza time, pizza. <laughs> hey, oh, the pizza's here. Dun. Are you winning, son? Baba boo. Baba boo. Baba boo. That show always is funny to me. <laughs> Wait, that man. Oh, shit! <laughs> to be disqualified since the beginning of the series. Holy shit. So this time with, what is it called again? Pico de Gallo. Pico de Gallo. Let's get to it, chat. All right. Mm. Oh, this one's actually, oh no, I spoke the soup. <laughs> I was like, I was like, oh, I, I, I was like, the taste was good. Tyrone, why are you in 16 by 9 but your body shaped like 4 by 3? <laughs> wow. <laughs> why are you fucking out I wish the phone. Would run up. Why would I lie about this? <laughs> exactly what it did. It just sounds so hilarious out of context. <laughs> yeah, it's just weird. You sit on the phone with your friend. Tara, what you doing? Yeah, I'm drinking goat milk. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? What are you doing? I'm drinking. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah Falker replaces his uh, father. Let's okay. go, Swarma. Okay, do it. Let's do go. it. Swarma. <laughs> Extra <laughs> onions of <laughs> garb. <laughs> Let's dick dick energy. Let's go. Let's go, Swarma. Y'all want some Swarma? You get dick tonight, buddy. It's Once like Terrell me. brought it up and I started listening to it a lot more, I was like, yeah, you know what? Black and white, I love your weird ass legendary theme. It's, it is a weird theme, but like. Da, 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 but my your favorite part. <laughs> wow. My what favorite part. Fuck? My favorite part. And yeah, let's just throw you, a Pokeball for When we get to that this. part in this track, it's just like this hard hitting, like. Da, 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 da. Why she catch it and I don't get to hear the music? <laughs> uh, 
I'm a, I, 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 I'm, a, I'm, a I'm a magician. <laughs> Oh, I'm a magician. Oh, at the moment, the usage of this event was a Wi-Fi event. You go to the uh, Nintendo. Place. Oh my God! Shiny! Are you fucking serious? Yeah, you're fucking shiny. Hey, can you type it in the thing? Shiny hunting it. Get it! 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 I like the design, and I like yeah. the idea. I but, like. You I know like... what's funny about that trail? That was their uh, whole point. Oh my god! What the? Oh my god! How? Oh my god! Are you fucking kidding me? Oh my god! All right, take uh, two. Actually, how many Pokeballs do you uh, have? Uh, uh, <laughs> Are you fucking? <laughs> I'm done. I'm done, dog. What the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck? That's his what? third shiny, my boy. This is so stupid. <laughs> It's so fucking stupid. What the fuck was that? What the I'm, fuck was that? I'm a quick ball. What the fuck is that? I'm, what I'm the fuck is I'm that? Not surprised anymore. What the fuck? What in the fuck? <laughs> I have one quick ball too. Let's see. Do it. Let's see. No, this is KG's luck. I don't. I, I, I don't. I won't believe it. No, it some, didn't. Happen. I do. Some it. people are just meant to succeed in life. We I just imagine Timon and Pumbaa. Yeah. What, like, a what a wonderful phrase! Yay! Yay! Ain't no fast no worries. All the rest is your time. It's a problem. Philosophy. Going to jail. I thought Capital One was what's in your wallet. No, Capital One is. Capital One, man. <laughs> Are you fucking serious? It was from Capital One. It, it is Capital One. What I the swear fuck? to God, Capital One wasn't what's in your wallet. I thought it was Allstate. Or is Allstate, well, Allstate you in good is, hands? Are you in good hands? I oh, just said it. it. <laughs> Why you gotta do this to me? I'm so sorry. He looks like this to the mini Bowser, and he's like, let me run over him real quick. Let's go. I, just want, I, just want, I, just, I want this to be stated. This is 100% Tyrone's fault. How the fuck is this my fault? Because you gave him the free time to do it. Oh, okay. You guys turn into Beyblade. Oh, oh, it's no, Beyblade. Wait, <laughs> 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 all of you. all of you. Wait, <laughs> Remember when Will Smith was a bird? Did you know he was a basketball? Yeah. I thought that was a shiny for a second. <laughs> it almost looks pink and all that. <laughs> I'm gonna just let it play out again. Oh my god, we found it. Oh shit. 
Oh my, that doesn't look different. I okay. think I did it, but then I did it again and I fucked it up because I have both Crazy. eggs hatch at the same ass time, bro. Crazy. No, oh, no, I did oh, it. Oh, you did it. You did it. <laughs> yes, it. Yes, 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 we got the egg skip. We got the Webble boys. He the what? Did it. The, the Webble skip. Let's go. What's, what's that? Oh my god, I broke the game. He, yeah. he's, oh, gonna, he, he's gonna get early sunny shore now. Hey, Amy, look. Ooh. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> oh, my God. That, that, was, that was a journey and a half. Would you not agree? That's it. I told you it was meant to be a short little highlights clip. We didn't even get to <laughs> the KG breaks the game over. Nah, man. There was just so many. There was way too many. I couldn't go through it all. It was so much clips, but I, I really chose what I thought were some of the best, in my opinion, ones that really sold for me. I know there were so many breakings and so many shinies. Like I didn't include none of the shinies from Sword and Shield and whatnot, but I, I didn't want it to be a two hour <laughs> highlight stream because I think that would be way too much. Oh man. Uh, but it was still, regardless, in my opinion, I think some of the best moments we've had there from silly out of context scenes to a bunch of shiny encounters to people freaking out over certain sequences. Uh, you know, I, I really tried my best to see if I could have covered as much as I can for uh, tonight's session. And I think I got a... A nice batch, per se. Also, I literally worked on this yesterday because I thought, okay, let me, you know what? Let me just try working on this. And I, <laughs> and I got like 30 clips uh, for this moment, man. There was just a lot, a lot of fun moments in, in this year, 2021. I wish I, I wish I had the opportunity to put everything that you guys had uh, given to me in that as well like even the recent mario kart session i wish could have also gotten into but th that just shows you the beauty of like streaming in general there's just so many moments it's just hard to pick which ones you personally want to uh, <laughs> you personally want to to put in there man but once again you all made this happen i know donnie is considered the clip master and all uh here on this channel but really has been incredible from all of you folks for uh giving me an opportunity to show moments like this that I feel most people could often miss out on or maybe they weren't there for that session. Uh, you know, so I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, the little montage we had there. Hope it was fun for all of you folks. And uh, can't wait to see how 2022 will give us with more silly clips uh, in the future. I intend to incorporate, uh, maybe Tyron and the others might be doing it for their own channel. I'm not really sure what they're intending to do. But uh, for this channel, at least, what I was able to grab were, I think, some of the best, man. I, I really wish I could have included a lot more. As you notice, there was, like, uh, no silly shenanigans from, like, reviewing segments. Except for, like, I think the Farfetch. And I'm pretty confident there was just so many more. <laughs> But I, I just wanted to highlight just a, a, a tad bit of it. Uh, so I hope you guys enjoyed that. Ah, oh, man, but I didn't think we did all this in 2021. I don't remember us doing Hard Gold and Soul Silver in 2021, man. <laughs> so, yeah, it, it's kind of funny for me personally just looking back and just being like, wow, this did happen this year. Oh, wow, this happened earlier than I thought. Oh, I thought that was in 2020. No, that was this year. So, uh, yeah, just a bunch of things. The 8th death slash game freezing Persona 3 was one of the highlights for my stuff. Oh, God. You you freaking out over that was incredible, TSS. I recall that. <laughs> that moment on your channel, Terrell also had his freakouts in his games, too. I mean, Arkwise Fantasia was, uh, was another iconic game altogether. I wish I could have gotten clips for that, too. Uh, but these were just simply clips created by the community here on this channel. And, uh, I just in my book saw what i thought were some of the best and uh i i hope you guys enjoyed it so yeah thank you once again chat you guys made some really really memorable moments just spark back in my head again just because you guys uh decide to say hey yo let me clip them real quick <laughs> oh man so yeah uh that's pretty much all i gotta say on that bit i hope you guys enjoy 2021 
Let's look forward to more silly shenanigans in 2022. Obviously, we're going to have a busy week uh, this time around. As you guys already know, uh, obviously, scheduling changes and all that is going to be happening on this channel soon. Uh, this week, I think things are going to still stay the same, but I think starting on next um, Monday and moving onward, most sessions that would tend to start at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, except for Tuesdays, uh, will now be shifted from 8 to 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, only because I need to make sure uh, that I start doing something that I mentioned on Friday session, uh, getting myself uh, a little bit more focused on taking care of myself as well. So uh, with that, we're going to be moving the thing to an additional hour later in the future. So now Fridays uh, for Wednesday, I, uh, I'm not Fridays, but 9 p.m. for Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Mondays will still be 10 and Tuesdays will still be 8 like usual. It's just Wednesday through Friday is going to be the change. So uh, look forward to that as well. It's not going to change the flow of streaming in general. It's just more so going to be uh, making things a little bit more um, uh, less uh, strenuous for me or like less rushing for me personally. If I can give time to everything that I want to do proper, then... Uh, this will help me out, man. So I hope you guys look uh, look forward to that. Uh, that makes me life a little easier, actually. Oh, I'm glad to hear. I didn't know uh, what we were going to be doing uh, moving forward, but I hope you guys continue to enjoy. So uh, let me go and uh, now start setting things up for what we're going to be doing uh, for the future. So let's start getting into it. Why don't we chat? Uh, obviously, we got to start talking about these things because eventually, if we don't, uh, well, we're going to have some issues. So, uh, before, while I take this opportunity to go and set this whole thing up, I want to say uh, thank you to everybody for your support. But I, like stated before, I couldn't have done it without my two co-hosts, uh, Tyrone and TSS. So, I would love for you guys to do me a solid. So, I would like for you guys to go over to their Twitter to go and follow them at their respective Twitter accounts. Of course, you can be notified there uh, whenever we intend to do more uh, shenanigans in our own respective things in the future. So, I hope you guys are looking forward to that. Uh, excuse me. So it's going to be a lot of fun for this year, like I stated before. But I hope you guys are looking forward to, I don't know, the utter silly shenanigans we're going to find ourselves in. <laughs> so, yeah, I just thought I'd, I'd share that little bit right there. Okay, so chat, let's start uh, getting ourselves into a uh, mindset of discussing what's going to be happening in the present timeline and of course what's going to be happening for the distant future you guys have talked about this for a while you guys have requested this for a while and i really want to make sure uh i get as much as i possibly can for every single one of you guys so uh the kevin direct it's the polka pod direct indeed the new year's special for that all right let's begin with the first introduction out of the way so uh Let's talk about something you guys have been wanting to see come back for a while. It was an, it was a concept that was introduced a little early. Uh, and personally, I wanted to have made it move a little bit further. However, with the people I was working with, things didn't really go so well. So we decided to go and approach things a little differently this time around. And that is going to be involving merch. Uh, this has been something that you guys have been wanting to see for some time. Uh, merchandise based on the Poke Podcast and crew. Uh, so I have finally can easily tell you now uh, that yes, we do indeed have ourselves set to go for uh, brand new merch, ladies and gents, uh, for the future. So let's go take a look at this, why don't we? Uh, so obviously, as you guys can tell, we have ourselves the Pokepod merch channel uh, right here uh, where you can go and find it for yourself. Uh, as you can see, we have the logo right there. We got ourselves a small selection because things are still being certified uh, or verified, I'm sorry, at this moment to uh, make these happen. So as you can see right there, we got ourselves the Pokepod World uh, Tri-Blend T, uh, Unisex T Classic Pullover Hoodie right there as well. Uh, the Comfort Tea. We also, and this is my favorite thing too, we got Ruby Gumba Rubies are here as well, which I thought was nice. I am so excited about the Ruby shirt because it looks so good in my eyes. I love the Gumba Ruby shirt. Everything should have cost $20. I wish it did cost $20, buddy. Uh, I'll make something for $20, but yeah. So you can 
you'd find yourself there with the cute little one of Gumba Ruby. There's this cute little one with just the Ruby shot there. I might do an extended version that'll feature the whole cast on that part, but I do have to go and ask everybody within our group to see if they are okay um, for that. So uh, I'm going to talk with them for that in the distant future. So I hope you guys look forward to uh, when I get into that side of things. So as you can see, we just got a couple of shirts so far available. Uh, I do intend to talk with the others as well um, about introducing character shirts. Uh, character shirts are like what you're seeing right here with Ruby, uh, which is basically just having the character themselves be on the shirt alongside with their partner Pokemon. And I thought that would be kind of fun to do. Uh, so I will be uh, asking help from uh, Sergi to also help me out on that aspect too, which I think would be a lot of fun to create unique shirts based on the cast. Uh, to fit with the with their character and just their motif. So uh, this is something I've wanted to be working on. How about the buddies then have a buddy shirt? <laughs> oh, man. Uh, but yeah, this is something I've been planning to work on for some time. I only just got the basis covered here. Uh, so this is all I can offer for this moment. However, obviously in the future, more shirts will be introduced to this and I will give my chance to tell you guys about it uh, when they get announced. So if you're ever on the Pokepod, you know, you'll always get to know first exactly what's coming, uh, what we plan to move forward with, and new things that will be added to this channel. So if you guys want to go and check it out for yourselves and would like to see if you want to get your hands on a shirt, uh, you can go and visit over there at the pokepod world creator -spring .com. Uh Once again, I'm giving you guys a little bit of a sneak peek on that part because I'm not going to make that absolutely public just yet except for those who are in the pokepod as i still want to make sure i get more content here uh on this but for the time being if you guys like what you see currently and would like to get your hands on something like that whether it be the gamba ruby stuff or say the pokepod world ball uh that's an opportunity right there you can go and seize at this moment so Another thing to also mention, just out of curiosity for feedback as well, as you can see, the Pokepod shirt is as is, but like, would you guys also be interested with the one that actually features like the logo of it included with it, like the traditional Pokepod world logo that you normally would see, or are you guys fine with it like being just this, you know? Your feedback like this gives me a clear indication of where I should move forward to. Uh, yes, with the logo, okay, that'll be something I'll plan to see if I can get done by uh, late next week. So yeah, I'll do my best to do that. Now there is also an opportunity for a hat as well, but I gotta see how things go with this first before I decide to jump into the hat aspect of it uh, in the distant future. But for now, uh, just see what you get right now at the moment and uh, hopefully you will enjoy it. Is the cap still available? The cap in this particular one is not available, uh, like I stated, so that will be at a later time. The logo feels like a must, you're right. Uh, so. Also, just at a little silly thing, we also got this cute little ruby sticker down here as well. Thought I'd share that too because that was like hidden underneath. <laughs> so if you guys want a cute little ruby sticker of it just sticking its tongue out, there you go. All right, so or the world in the corner and then the logo on the sleeve. Like I stated, I'm going to be talking with you guys in the community, see where things go. And uh, well, we'll see where you guys would like for characters to go next. Would you be making a survey slash docs form? I'll do a survey just to get a clear idea as to what people would want. Uh, that'll give me a indication for what to push for first uh, and who to focus on at that time. There will also be some additional art pieces that will also be introduced in this in the future as well, uh, which is going to be the second thing I would like for us to go and talk about as well. So let me go and turn this off real quick. So uh, let's now take this opportunity to talk about something uh, that my buddy uh, Sergi, he is, he is without a doubt uh, the person responsible for a lot of the pieces that you saw on, like the Gamba Ruby shirt, that's his line art design right there, or say like the uh, the other images that I've shown in the past, or hell, even the one like if I just go back to this real quick, uh, the one at the very top, you see the the designs of uh, of Ruby, TSS, and Tyron right there. Yeah, those are done by our buddy Sergi. Like, the, these are designs created by him. So, once again, massive shout-outs to our buddy Sergi as you bring up in, as you bring that up in chat. So, uh, yeah, Sergi is indeed a god. He is incredible. I, I love his work so much. He's done so many pieces for me uh, over the years. 
and I'm being serious about over the years, man. He he's in he's absolutely incredible. He's been with me since like X and Y, Sun and Moon, and now entering into uh, into this era of J N. Uh, it's an honor to still be working with him uh, for another year. We already talked about it behind the scenes, and I think it'd be kind of fun to go and announce some of the things we're going to be discussing and doing uh, for 2022. So let's get right into it, ladies and gents. Uh, first of all, as stated before, but in case you guys might have came a little late, our buddy, newest member in the crew, uh, Emmy, will be receiving her new art piece alongside with the partner Pokemon created by none other than Sergi. So that's going to be a piece you guys can look forward to uh, really soon in the future. Uh, the second thing I'm also going to be talking about as well, uh, and this is something I've been wanting to do last year, but I can finally take care of it now this year. Uh, which is in regards to monthly Pokepod pieces. So exactly what is a monthly Pokepod piece? Just just to kind of get that out of the way real quick to explain a little a little to y'all exactly what are Pokepod pieces. So um, Pokepod pieces are basically just things where the characters just do their own things together, just just random shenanigans, you know. And I thought it'd be kind of fun to go and. Uh, do something like that in the future. So like we'll get more pieces with the cast of characters uh, doing things together. Uh, similar to like what if you guys ever seen like some of the JN posters or say seen some of the pieces that they've done before in like magazine things and all that where the characters are just sort of doing silly shenanigans together. Uh, think of it in that light where it's going to basically be the characters just having their own silly shenanigans and whatnot. Uh, that's the thing I intend to work on. That's what I want to try to make a reality uh, moving forward in this year. So uh, let me just go and uh, fit this real quick to screen just so I can give a piece as an example here. I hope I have it uh, so I can actually show it to you guys. So let me go and see. Oh, shoot, this one already has an unknown piece. Okay, that's not what I want. Uh, let me go and try to grab my hands on one then. Hold on a second. I think it'll be easier if I can just pull it out personally. <laughs> but I was uh, I was rushing for this part right here. Uh, so apologies, chat, for coming out a little sloppy at this part here. But here we go. Uh, so let's show like pieces like this, for example. Uh, where we've had uh, characters just do things together. So, for example, as you see right here, this piece of uh, of our buddy K alongside with Ruby just doing the uh, enjoy pose from the Pokemon Sun and Moon series as an example right here. Or say if we were to take another piece as an example to like what we can do for the future. Uh, let me just grab it real quick. Hold on a second. There we go. Uh, another piece that I could show off is the VS uh, fighting scene that we have right here that was done by Sergi once again that has Ruby and uh, Tyrone duking it out with each other, uh, which is actually a nice little tribute uh, to a Mario and Sonic game. I wonder if you guys can tell which one is this based off. So, uh, yeah, pieces like this are what I want to see come out from uh, the future, which is going to be monthly pieces. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, that that's the idea I have in mind. So Sergi and I are going to be working on that on a monthly basis uh, where we're going to try to have not every member, but like particular members within the community uh, shuffled around throughout every month, uh, having them do things uh, that could tie into the events of said month. So um, obviously, as an example, let's just say out the top of my head, I was also joking it around with Emmy and Nessa, but it'd be kind of funny. Like, uh, basically, given that Pokemon Legends Arceus is going to be coming out uh, relatively soon, this month actually, uh, it would be a piece of where Ruby is talking about his experiences in the Sinnoh of old to Nessa and to Emmy. And Emmy and Nessa at first are seemingly like listening to it all A-OK -okay until they realize, wait a minute, how old exactly is Ruby if he's able to talk about this? pretty confidently and easily like <laughs> these kind of things I want to try uh, pushing for. So uh, yeah, that, that's just pretty much my idea currently for what I want to do. Uh, so I hope you guys are looking forward to that. Uh, so 
as it stands right now, though, like we stated, I don't have anything to show off or to uh, give you guys as a sneak peek for what's coming because these things are going to be coming in their respective time. Uh, so that's going to be something to look forward to uh, for that side of the story. And uh, lastly, to talk about, and this is going to be my favorite thing to discuss, but this is also probably going to be one of the most costly ones. Uh, there will be, and it'll also be available in the store in some point in the future. Don't expect it right away because this is actually going to be a big piece. Uh, the Pokepod poster is going to happen at some point in the future, uh, which is basically going to incorporate every single character that we've had uh, within the Pokepod series uh, so far. And just have it as a poster for all of you guys to enjoy. Uh, as it stands currently right now though. It's still in production. We're still in the early talks about it. Uh, so Sergi and I will be going into more detail about it in the coming weeks. And I hope to show you guys more of an in-depth look about that as well. So it'll feature everybody. I'm, I mean everybody that has partaken with us in the pod. Obviously Ruby, Tyrone, TSS, Terrell... Uh, Nessa, Polly, Richie, uh, you know, and then of course, obviously, we have to go and try to incorporate the friends that we've made along the way, the, the buddies that have been with us, Emmy as well, who now is getting her own uh, art piece will be used as a way to kind of like segue into the poster as well. So she will also be making her appearance on that poster too. Alongside that, I intend to talk with some other buddies of mine who've also been uh, with us throughout the year and ask for their permission to also incorporate their uh, character into the poster as well. I won't give names as of yet because I still need to get answers from them soon. Uh, so look forward to that as well. Uh, so it'll be a poster of celebrating uh, the Pokepod franchise as a whole. Uh, you know, obviously we want to incorporate everybody that I could possibly think of. Obviously, JPR is also another me a member within the group. As you heard just now, Dean's also another member within the group too. I want to try to incorporate as much as I possibly can uh, to this poster while still paying tribute to all the people who's, uh, who's been with us throughout the years, man. So, yeah, it's still one thing that I have to work on. It's very, very early. We haven't even gotten a draft. We haven't gotten an idea how the poster is going to be shaped and designed wise. Uh, but it is something I'm really, really looking forward to, which once again, it was without a doubt, all thanks to every single one of you people. It has been a remarkable journey. It has been an incredible experience to be able to be here to tell you these things. You guys made that a reality. And like to, like our buddy Sergi said, we need to be patient. This is Sergi's big thing right here. And it's going to be a while. But I, like I said before, Sergi's the man. I have full faith in him. Everybody wish him the best of luck. And uh, I cannot wait to see how this thing is going to be design-wise. But like, like Sergi said, it's going to take some time. So I look forward to that. When that day comes, <laughs> somebody says next sign Pokepod cards. <laughs> hey, you never know. We'll see like an Uno <laughs> with the Pokepod crew. Uh, but no, no, no. But yeah, for real though. Sergi, you are without a doubt the GOAT, the greatest that I can, that I have ever met, man. And I am honored to, to be working with you again for another year, buddy. Really am. From the bottom of my heart. Thank you, buddy. None of this, none of this right now that I'm talking about would have been a reality. Had it not been for all the contributions you've done for me and our buddies throughout the years, man. It, it really is incredible. So thank you, buddy. Uh, but we'll talk more about that in the future. So for now, my main priority is to focus on Emmy's design. Let me get that done. Let me see that piece first. We'll work on it from that point onward. But Emmy's is the first and most important one to come out of. Uh, because obviously Emmy needs to get her design first if she wants to be in the poster. So we kind of need to get that. <laughs> uh, but yeah, patience is a virtue, ladies and gents. So I hope you guys are looking forward to the celebration for that. Now, uh, let's move on forward then, chat. Obviously, as I've been talking about art pieces here, uh, Sergi is not going to be the only one who is also going to be helping out in 
uh, this world of the Pokepod franchise as well. And this is something I want to talk more about them in the future, with specifically with Ebo and specifically with uh, Joker, who are available right now in the chat as well. You guys might already have given an uh, a hint as to what the idea was, uh, Ebo and of Joker. And I want to just ask you real quick if it's okay for me to give the thumbs up of it to talk a little bit more into details in this session for tonight. Uh, so yes, says Ebo. And uh, let's see with Joker. Uh, let's see, hold on a second. Yep, thumbs up. All right, that's perfect. So I'll talk about the, the thing, yo, let's go. All right, perfect. So let's begin real quick with Ebo's. Uh, Ebo and I, are at some point in the future, are going to be working on a Pokepod for Coma uh, little series uh, for the Pokepod cast which is going to be an interesting approach where we're going to basically have the goofballs just do silly shenanigans uh, throughout the weeks. Uh, four Coma is just basically like a four panel uh, comic bit. If you guys have read your mangas or have known these kind of things, you'll know that uh, that's pretty much what that is. It's just basically just a little thing where the cast, the characters just do silly shenanigans. Uh, so I'm going to be working uh, with Ebo and I'm going to try to get a new art direction specifically designed for the uh, the Four Coma series. Uh, so that way we can have them fit more appropriately for that strip. So they're going to be uh, differently designed than what you see from Sergi's uh, art direction. Uh, but it's going to be more suited for that. So it's going to probably be given a more... Uh, chibi-esque approach. Uh, so I'm looking forward to that. I'm still going to be talking about that with Evo in the background. We'll get more into deets on that in the coming days, Evo, and I'm looking forward to it. I can't wait to see uh, what kind of designs we will come up with together. Uh, so I cannot wait to work with you on that part there. Uh, which, once again, what exactly is this series going to be focused on? As you guys can tell, the Pokepod 4 Coma series is going to be focused on nothing more than just simply having uh, the characters do silly shenanigans of the week. They might even be things that tie into uh, whatever it is that we could be doing for the pod in that moment, or maybe something that we did in that session just done now in the form of the 4 Coma series. So uh, that's going to be a lot of fun to see and experiment with. But like I said, it's still early in development. I'm going to be talking more about this with uh, Ebo, and we're going to make this a reality. I can guarantee you that, chat. And Ebo, I am honored to be working with you uh, and cannot wait to see what fun things we will create together. I'll also try to get uh, another particular buddy of mine who is he considers himself a uh, a comedic genius. So we'll see if he can contribute something to that. <laughs> so then it'll be canon in that universe. Can I release the BW slash OST in one manga chapter? <laughs> That, that'll be the only canon shit that'll ever happen for the BW to Sunny Moon OST. And it'll be in the goddamn four coma series. So that's going to be that. So, Ebo, still early in development. I can't wait to see uh, what we can come up with together. So, looking forward to that. Now, moving on into the next bit of news to talk about as well. Let's go and discuss with our buddy Joker. So, exactly what... Yeah, we got another artist to work on something as well. So... Joker here is going to also contribute a bit of art pieces as well for the future. Uh, specifically, well, for now anyway, we're going to be seeing um, stickers come out of this as well. Sticker designs that could also be added into the shop at some point in the future. So if you guys ever wanted to see a sticker uh, of designed by our buddy Joker here... Uh, yeah, we're going to be seeing it uh, in the future. Of course, I'm only starting things simple now with uh, Joker, just keeping things simple with a sticker design. And then from there, we will see where we want to take our direction for the future uh, outside of just stickers. Of course, that could also include and incorporate more art pieces as well for the future uh, but uh, with a different cast of artists. So that's why I'm doing my best to try to make sure I try to spread everything apart for everybody. So like Sergi will take care of the art direction for the regular pod series. Evo will take care of the direction for the uh, for the Four Coma series. And then uh, our buddy uh, Joker will be taking more on the artistic direction of sticker designing. Uh, which I'm looking forward to the most because I feel like I can make some 
uh, at least the, what I want to try it with uh, Joker anyway, is to create like, you know, like those kind of cool emotes that you would always see on the phones that always has like a character doing something with the text underneath at the bottom, uh, the reaction kind of stickers uh, that is on phones and all that. I think that would be a lot of fun to try to see if we can incorporate that as well. And hell, yeah, maybe it could even fit into a shirt. Yeah, line emotes. There you go. Uh, which I think would be also fun to try out and experiment to in the future. So uh, for now, though, I'm going to be talking with Joker as well in the background. These are still concepts that are at their very early uh, phases. They have yet been drafted or given any direction as of right now. Uh, so we are still going to be seeing where things are going to, uh, move forward. Uh, but I hope you guys are looking forward to that as well. Uh, this is something, like I said, has been a project that I've been wanting to see happen. I, as somebody who has been creating content for 10 years, not by myself, but with the cast of people who have been with me throughout this entire time, who has been with me through all these journeys, you know, Tyrone, uh, Dean, Chornik, JPR, TSS, Richie, DJ, Evie, uh, Sergi, Polly, Nessa, uh, our friends that have just joined us recently, like Kay, uh, you know, Emmy, uh, Kuro. These folks have been with me throughout a lot, both new and old, and Terrell, of course, uh, like I said, it's just so much to think off the top of my head, man. Like, I, I'm trying to find it. it. Basically, I swapped you out for Terrell this time around, Polly. <laughs> like, there, there is a lot. There is so many people. There really is. It, it really is something. Uh, I only remembered because you're actually here, Polly. Let it be cleared. <laughs> Love that pit. <laughs> Oh, man. Uh, but yeah, so I really, from the bottom of my heart, you guys made this a reality. Every single one of you viewers out here right now watching this stream uh, who's been here with me for many years or maybe are some new members who are just now starting to get themselves introduced into uh, the Pokepot series and just this channel in general. You guys made this a reality, and I cannot wait to make more of it possible. Last year was a setup year for me. Last year was me focusing on trying to get an idea as to where I want to go for the future. It has always been my intention to make these ideas that I discussed with every single one of you a reality. And it is now very exciting for me to know that I can start pushing these ideas and concepts to close friends of mine who will also be helping contribute to creating some wonderful things within the Pokepod series. And I can't wait to see where things are going to go for that. So uh, thank you once again from the bottom of my heart. You guys are an absolute joy to me. It has been an honor to have been doing this for 10 years, ladies and gents, a decade. And I can't wait to see what our future holds together. So it's a bunch of goofballs, bro. <laughs> There's your answer. <laughs> oh, man. So you know what? With that being said, ladies and gents, that's all I got to say for the art pieces anyway. Uh, in regards to that, there are still a lot, a lot more ideas I want to bring up uh, for the future. And I really am determined to see this through. But for now, as Sergi said before, and others that are here right now, I want to focus on making sure I get these concepts done first. I want to make sure that what you're seeing currently is going to be phase one of this year. So that's my main priority. I need to get Emmy's, uh, Emmy's design done. I need to see these other concepts uh, met through. I need to see all these things through uh, in a nice steady progression. So I'm looking forward to working with everybody uh, in that aspect there. Uh, KG plays ads now. <laughs> no, that's not me, man. That's just simply Twitch. Twitch is doing that, not me. I swear to God. Uh, the procedures still sound better. The nickname can't be trying. <laughs> you guys are my buddies, okay? You guys are my peeps. That's just how it is, in all honesty. So uh, thank you guys again. From the bottom of my heart, you guys have built this. You guys made this happen, and I can't wait 
to see what 2022 has to offer. Uh, there is one little bit of news I also want to bring up as well. It's nothing really major, but I just thought it would be kind of fun to... Um, to, or not fun, but just kind of important, at least to me anyway, to uh, address and just talk about this as well. In case if you guys want to help out even more for the future. Because these are things uh, that I feel are ones that I really want to continue uh, to push forward to. Like I want to continue to see uh, more of this sort of content for 2022 and onward. So I need to focus on... Uh, incorporating more of the the designs and all that uh so let me go and this uh discuss this with every single one of you uh and i think samurai has hit it on the head i'm surprised you actually nailed that that to me is the shocking bit of it all uh so allow me to talk a little bit more about this piece if you guys do not mind whatsoever because this is something that uh it's nothing major but it's still something I want to at least see happen through. So uh, last bit to talk about for today anyway uh, is just simply talking about uh, the Pokepod Patreon channel. Uh, so we have this now. This is something I always wanted to see happen. I just never thought I would ever get to see that opportunity uh, occur, honestly. Uh, so... Let's go and find out about that together, why don't we? So ladies and gents, I want to show you guys real quick for a bit uh, the Pokepod uh, World channel, uh, which is going to be available on Patreon. It isn't going to be anything major. Let it be clear, it's just simply going to be the Ganba Ruby tier that you see currently right now, which is just simply, I wanted to make it a dollar, but apparently they have to make it two dollars. I don't know why that's a reality, but I guess that's something. Uh, so uh, the Pokepod World, uh, the Patreon account is mainly going to be focused on one thing and one thing only, to assure that what I'm planning is going to also be helped in, uh, in giving to the people who I'm working with. So to make sure that I get, and I, listen, I will still be able to give to everybody. Let it be clear. I have the fundings and capabilities, uh, to give to Sergi, to Ebo, to Joker, but just to kind of smoothen things out, that's what this option is available for. If you wish to help any further, to, to help give back to those. There is, of course, an additional thing uh, that you will receive if you become a member for the Pokepod world on Patreon. And that is, of course, uh, the MP3 files that you can use for the Pokepod World Podcast. So they will be available for you guys digitally here as well. Of course, let this be clear on one thing. These sessions of the Pokepod will still be available for all of you guys on YouTube. I will not strip that away from everybody from YouTube. You guys will still get access to what we have on YouTube. They will always be there for you guys to enjoy. However, if you wish to own uh, the MP3 of this and you wish to download this to have on your mobile device and all that, this will be the direction to go for. So if you guys want to go and uh, take that little extra step to not only just support us and our content that we create here, but also uh, receive a little additional bit of um of downloads, this will be the best place to go for it. And this will also make things easier for me too because I'll be able to save all of my resources uh, into this as well and give you guys a lot of uh, a lot of pieces of the past and present and of course the future as well. So this is just an option. This isn't something I'm asking you guys to commit or to do. It's just a option that you guys can go for uh, that I want to just bring up anyway. It was a weird, to me personally, it was a weird decision to make because I've never been comfortable with doing things like that with Patreon because I, I don't know much of it, not per se of that, but like to, to like tell people to go and contribute to that. Uh, but I just wanted to at least now, I think after 10 years and stuff of making content like this, I thought it would be a, a perfect opportunity to go and uh, to, to incorporate that now into uh, the podcast series. So that's just my idea and also thank you so much robzo for subscribing really appreciate it you are amazing not gonna lie i was expecting that kg said that y'all were getting a spot yeah so that is also going to be a reality too spotify is still an option let that be clear too i patreon is that a word <laughs> is that even a word i don't know is did you really just do that i don't really know shit somebody just did <laughs> Oh my god, you 
just straight up dead. I didn't believe that. What? Holy shit, we already got our first buddy here. Look at that. We got our first buddy. I wish I could train Patreon to buddy. <laughs> oh, man. Holy shit. Thank you, buddy, on that aspect there. Oh, God. So, yeah. If you wish to go and just help out, uh, give a little and whatnot, and would like to help become a part of this, uh, you are more than welcome uh, to join us over there at the Pokepod World uh, at Patreon. Once again, I will share the link for all of you guys. I hope this is the proper link. If this is not the proper link, I'm going to be very scared. Uh, but if you guys wish to go and share your support on that part right there, uh, this will be the place to go to. So once again, from the bottom of my heart, you guys have made everything I talked about tonight a reality. To, to be able to look back and laugh with every single one of you guys about the things that we've done last year in 2021. And even 2020, 2019, 18, all the way down to back when I was just a little content creator on YouTube. Doing things of Let's Plays before eventually becoming a reviewer of the X and Y series. To then moving on into the Sun and Moon series and creating a podcast uh, that has now spanned for seven years uh, and, you know, being able to create new friends, new memories, and uh, making some iconic things um, with y'all has been an absolute honor. It has really been a joyous journey that I will not want to see end anytime soon. This is just simply the beginning of what I think is of great things to come. So, you guys have been awesome amazing astounding i don't know the sonic color shit <laughs> but you guys have been uh, incredible pokemon r to racing on the sega saturn you know that yeah, finally somebody finally figured out what the r in the pokemon r stood for <laughs> oh man so yeah everybody give yourselves a round of applause for helping making this happen and uh Round of applause to all the newest members that are going to be joining us in this year of 2022 with allies new and old, art pieces new and old. It's going to be a year for Pokepod. I think this is going to be Pokepod's big year. And I hope you guys make this a reality. So if you have yet to do so, ladies and gents, of course, make sure to follow us here on this Twitch channel to be notified whenever we do go live with whatever silly shenanigans we will do within this week. Uh, so make sure to do that if you have yet to do so. Uh, make sure to tune in for any of our other uh, shenanigans as well throughout the week. More deets on that will be happening at a later point. So I hope you guys are looking forward to that too. Um, and look forward to 2022's uh, Pokepod World Podcast. This is year three, ladies and gents. I can't wait to see where we're going to go from this point onward. So once again, thank you, Sergi. Thank you for your amazing art pieces. Uh, to my buddy Doodles, uh, Doodle Lot, for making the Pokepod World logo. You've been an amazing person to work with as well. Uh, to all the other guest uh, artists that are going to be joining us soon. Uh, it has been incredible to know you guys for a while now. And to now be able to work alongside you guys. Uh, is a honest blessing, and I'm very much excited for that. Uh, and then, of course, you, the viewers, every single one of you guys, thank you. Uh, so, I will be wrapping things up for tonight, like I stated before. This was going to just simply be a special to highlight things that just came from this year, our last year, to then focus on what we're going to be doing this year, and, of course, beyond. There are a lot of things I have yet to talk with you guys about that has still no idea when this is going to be a reality. Like, I mean, if I could still get that Ruby VTuber model, that's still a dream goal of mine for 2022, honestly. <laughs> but we'll see where things go. But like I stated before, I just want to take things a step at a time. Please allow me to take this chance to focus with the people I'm going to be working with throughout the coming days. And I will get back to every single one of you guys in the future. Uh, whenever you guys have any questions or something like that, know for a fact we'll always have more of these things. So, um, to talk about 
Uh, also, Lightning Hosting, thank you so much, buddy. Much appreciated, buddy. Uh, so, Rue, buddy. <laughs> Don't worry. I specifically called this the New Year's special just to make sure it's not a session number. I made sure that this shit doesn't count. I don't care what any of the dubbers who are going to dub our voice is going to do for that. <laughs> so, uh, look forward to this as well in, uh, in the tweets that I will also be doing on Twitter to go into more details about this. Uh, and I will be talking with everyone about more of whatever we have planned for the future on next week's Pokepod podcast. So until then, ladies and gents, once again, my name is KG Prestige and I am once again, very grateful for every single one of you guys. And I'll gladly and surely talk with all of you guys later in whatever video I make. Take care, everybody, and as always, make sure to have yourselves an awesome day. TSS isn't here because I asked him to take a small break for today, but if he was here, he'd always make sure to tell you guys to wash your goddamn hands. Uh, but he, instead of goddamn, it'd be the F word, but I don't want to do that right now. So <laughs> uh, so make sure to wash your hands, damn it, and uh, make sure to go and look forward to Pokepod in 2022. It's going to be a wild ride. I can't wait to see what we have in store, and... Uh, it's going to be a journey we all can enjoy, uh, enjoy together. So until then, everybody, I'll speak with you all then. Take care and have yourselves an awesome day. Bye, everybody.